ladies and gentlemen, welcome into my channel this fine morning. It is Saturday, yes indeed it is. Saturday the 14th of May. Uh, so we are getting ready to get out of here. We got us a good hard working day ahead of us, so we figured well, may as well start it early, right? Yes indeed, yeah. It's five o'clock in the morning, or just a couple of minutes after five right now. So uh, just went inside and uh, washed my face a little bit, getting ready. So let's get on down the road. I appreciate you guys joining me today. So that's coming uh, right along with me today, and let's see what we're gonna be up to today. We have been going for a good three and a half hours already. Yeah, it's nice sunshine out here today, but uh, don't let that sun fool you today. It's on a cool side today. It's only six degrees Celsius right now. But yeah, we're here on uh, 281 right now. I think we're getting closer and closer to making us a pit stop. Yeah, after about three and a half hours worth of driving, you know, kind of want to stop and go for a little walk and maybe go grab me some breakfast, you know. Yeah, I'm hoping it ain't going to be as crazy windy as it was yesterday. Oh man, that was terrible. I think we had like 40 mile an hour wind there yesterday at one point. But hey, that's life. Not every every day is the same, right? <clears throat> yeah, last night I even had to turn on the bunk heater. It got down to like one degree Celsius or something like that. So yeah, to turn on the bunk heater. Oh well. I guess summer is not just quite all the way here yet. I mean, for the last few days I've been running the AC overnight, but <laughs> last night that was definitely not the case. If I wanted AC last night, I could have just opened the windows, right? Yeah, well. But it is starting to get nice and green up here in the, in the Dakotas as well. Like we are in South Dakota right now. So uh, that's nice to see. It's starting to get nice and green over here. Farmers will be happy. They can probably uh, get their seeds in. And looks like it's not too dry over here. So they will be able to get their seeds in and start growing their crop, right? I think I will talk to you guys in a few. Here we go. We had ourselves an awesome breakfast done. Yes, indeed we did. Now it's time to put the hammer down again and start making our way toward the border. Yes, indeed. We got us a few hours ahead yet before we will hit the border, but uh, yeah, well, you gotta give it a try, right? We probably have close to about seven hours before we gotta get before we get to the border, you know. But we got us a long day ahead of us yet before we can cross that border. Goal uh, for today is to get across the border, but we'll see if that is actually going to happen. Because I think we only had like a thousand and seventy miles or something like that in total. So if I cross the border, I would have a lot less driving to do tomorrow. So what I might do, I might just get close to the border and then cross tomorrow. But then again, maybe not, right? Maybe I'll just still continue crossing the border today and we'll make it a big day today, but we'll see. We'll see what we decide when we get closer and how we feel, right? If you still feel pretty energized, then we might still continue rolling, but if we start feeling a little tired or lazy or whatever you want to call it, then we might just say, 
that's it. We we'll call it a day. We might just park her and say, forget it. <laughs> yeah, well. I still got to work on tomorrow's video, which is uh, last week Sunday's video, but when by the time you watch this video, like today is Saturday, but uh, I still haven't uploaded anything for uh, tomorrow's video, basically, for the uh, 15th. I was doing a reset up there in Toronto, and yeah, I got kind of lazy, didn't feel like filming, and I don't know, whatever. We didn't make no video that day, so we got to come up with something for tomorrow. But we have something in mind. We do have something in mind. We actually have a whole bunch of ideas that I would like to talk about and whatever, but uh, hey, we'll see exactly what makes it into the video, right? <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here. Uh, we'll see what we will be able to show you today. Here we are ladies and gentlemen. We are now about to enter into North Dakota. Yeah, that's right. There's that beautiful blue sign up here saying welcome to North Dakota. Yeah, that means now we are in the last Cross state border, entering North Dakota before we hit the border of Canada. Yes, indeed, that's correct. We actually only have 780 miles to go. Two hour delivery, so I could actually, well, if I really wanted to push it, I could only drive another 80 miles and I could still make it there tomorrow. But. Knowing me, I want to get as many miles in this site possibly can today, right? Yeah, look at them trees. They're starting to get nice and green over here too. Yeah, that's awesome. Even them uh, trees up there with them flowers on there. Starting to look good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have much to talk about I guess today's video but we're trying our best showing you a little bit of a video of some kind but the wind has definitely picked up again seems like it's starting to be I don't know almost as windy as yesterday I mean maybe not quite just yet but it is pretty windy, that's for sure. We have now just gone through Minot, North Dakota. Yes, indeed we have. And we stopped there at the Flying J a little bit and uh, took us a little bit of a mandatory break there or whatever you want to call it. Yes, indeed. And we got a cop following us now. He came out of that uh, flying jitter as well, and now he's following me. Eh, I don't know why, but I guess he's got to do his job. I got to do my job, right? And now he's moving into the left lane, so I guess he's decided to either pass me or, or whatever. I don't know. I don't really care what he's doing as long as he's not pulling me over, right? That's the main plan anyways. But yeah. We're gonna put the hammer down towards the border. I was talking to Trucker Jukebox there until I got to the Flying J there. And that helped me get a little bit more sheared up today, I guess. Now I feel a little bit more like making a video. Yes, indeed I do. Now we got pretty much exactly an hour and a half to the border now. I was looking at my logbook and I still have about two hours left in the logbook. So even if it takes us an hour and 45 minutes to get up there, we should still be all right. Yes, indeed. But anyways, we'll... Uh, Continue on here with our journey. It's been kind of drizzling here uh, on and off here uh, over the last hour and a half. So it's uh, 
64 up there looks like 65 I don't know if those are football player numbers that they put up here or what they are but they got some kind of marking on them there the one there looks like it's even got a name uh, signed to the number there 65 there looks like some kind of name on there but anyways I just figured I would uh, show you this a little bit here welcome to Canada ladies and gentlemen we are now in Saskatchewan! Yes, indeed we are! We got to our border just in time with our logbook. Just barely managed to cross the border today, but uh, we made it. That's all that matters, right? That's what I say. That's all that matters. We made it. I'm happy, happy, happy. So, now we're going to go down here and uh, go down to uh, Astavan and we'll see if they have parking available there at the uh, at the Husky over there. If they do, I might just call it a day over there. If they don't, then uh, I guess I'll be forced to go down to Weyburn, but seven hours driving from here pretty much down to uh, to uh, Madison Hat so I don't really have to push her too much today I didn't really have to push her across the border either but I really wanted to have internet and be able to upload some videos for you guys so I figured you know what let's get to it Let's get to it. Let's get across the border. And as soon as we get there, it's only half an hour drive here across the border. There's a truck stop there. And hopefully they do have parking there. And then we'll just call it a day. I mean, literally we got, since we crossed the border, we got an additional two hours that we can drive, right? Because now I'm on Canadian hours. So, we are... Uh, in good shape even if there is no parking there we can still continue on cruising along there to uh to our next truck stop right and there's always parking in there so we don't have to worry about that but i do feel a lot better now i was kind of tired earlier and i don't know i wasn't in a good mood i guess now i'm in a lot better mood I feel a lot better i'm a lot more awake i don't feel tired anymore I guess I'm good to go. Let's get down over there and see what happens, right? Alrighty guys, we have made it down here to Estevan, to the Husky truck stop up here. 
And yes, there is plenty of parking here. There's actually a couple of spots right beside me there. And there's up a couple of spots beside over there. There's a couple over there yet too. But uh, yeah, so I said, you know what? Since there's parking here, I've had a long day already. I'm calling it a quits. I'm done for today. We got 638 kilometers to go tomorrow. That should take us about six and a half to six and three quarter hour driving. I will be making a pit stop up there in uh, Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, fueling up there tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so we are done for today. I think we're going to get us a good night's sleep in here today. I hope so anyways. Uh, I don't have anything in a hurry to get up early tomorrow morning because, you know, when I get to Madison, I'm just, just about out of hours. Well, look at that. There's a brand new Peterbilt's are rolling in. I guess somebody bought some new Peterbilt's, it looks like. So, yeah, he's just coming in here to the truck stop. And so since I don't have anything in the hurry to uh, basically deliver the slot or anything like that, so I think I'm just going to sleep in tomorrow morning. Get up whenever I wake up and get going, right? So uh, with that being said, I'm just going to close her. I'm just about had it for today. So uh, I think I'm going to go edit this video and probably go to bed here pretty soon after that. So figure I just close off the show and I appreciate you guys joining me today I know today was probably a little bit of a different vlog I guess at the beginning of the day I wasn't too happy I guess and why not but I'm pretty happy now so if you did enjoy it hey give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down don't matter to me whichever way you want to put it that's your choice it's your decision and if you got anything in particular to say to today's vlog, wouldn't you mind leaving me a comment down there below? If there's anything I could improve on my vlogs or if there is something you would like me to do a little different or if you like a shout out or if you like to see something in particular and you would like to get me to videotape it, hey, leave that in the comment there. I will try my best to make that happen. Yes, indeed I will. So with that being said, have a cool one. Have a cool weekend, because today is Saturday morning, right? When you watch it, most of you anyways. And if it wasn't morning, well, still have a good weekend, everybody. And we'll catch you right here tomorrow morning on Trucker Rudy signing out. <laughs>